In today's video, we're going to break down the differences between two absolutely incredible dog breeds, the Akita and the Rottweiler. Welcome back to the Femrir Akita Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the Akita, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Akita companions. So if you love the Akita as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Akita video. And today we're going to take a look at the similarities and the differences of the amazing Akita versus the Rottweiler. So let's dive right in and we'll start with the history of these fascinating large guardian breeds because we can't know where we're going with a breed unless we know why they were bred in the first place. Now the Akita is an extremely ancient breed from northern Japan. In the Middle Ages, only members of the ruling class were allowed to own Akitas, and as these people liked their hunting expeditions, they used their fierce dogs to track and apprehend large game such as elk, bear or wild boar. Now fearless and bold, their pack of dogs would keep the game in check until the hunters got to the scene. The courage and endurance required to carry out such a task in the treacherous mountainous terrains of northern Japan must have been monumental. And after the Second World War, US soldiers imported a number of these intrepid Japanese hunters into America. After 1980, the breed's popularity spread to many other countries and are now extremely recognisable. So then, let's look at the Rottweiler, one of the oldest German dog breeds. And because of their extraordinary talent for driving and controlling cattle, they are known as the Butcher's Dog in Germany. Now, the Rottweiler's ancestors were the ancient Roman drover dogs. Their job was to drive herds of cattle brought along by the Roman armies as they crossed the Alps. Now, during the Second World War, Rottweilers served as messengers and guard dogs, and since then, the breed has gained worldwide recognition as police and protection dogs all over the world. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femrir Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Okay then, so let's dive into the difference in their looks before we get into the really good stuff. And Akitas are spitz type dogs with beautiful thick and plush double coats. Whilst breed standards allow pretty much every colour for the American Akita, the lighter and smaller Japanese Akita only comes in brindle, white, red fawn and sesame. Both types of Akita have erect, small, triangular-shaped ears and curly brush tails. In their overall appearance, they are of strong build, but without appearing overly bulky. Rotties are much more sturdy in their body structure and have short coats. The only colour allowed by breed standards is the typical black and tan. Rotties have big, blocky heads with that mark stop. Traditionally, their tails used to be cropped, but today this practice is illegal in many countries around the world, like here in the UK. Now, male Akitas can measure up to 70 centimetres, which is around 28 inches, and comfortably weigh 50 kilograms, around 110 to 120 pounds, with the females being a little bit lighter. Now, the American Akita cousins are usually much taller and considerably heavier. Now, of similar height and weight, adult male Rottweilers can get up to 69 centimetres tall, which amounts to 27 inches. Their weight can be up to 60 kilos, which is about 100 pounds. And again, females are usually a little bit smaller and lighter. Now, neither of these exceptional guardian breeds are suited for inexperienced owners, simply because these large and powerful dogs can cause accidents when not raised, trained and socialised properly. With that said, Akitas are equally smart and stubborn. In terms of trainability, they are far more difficult to educate than Rottweilers are, as they do not need to feel the need to please their owners. Because of their strong independence, Akitas absolutely require an experienced owner, a calm, consistent leader who knows how to train strongly independent dogs effectively, efficiently and safely. And whilst the Rotti is no less intelligent than the Akita, it is far more trainable and versatile. 
When given the chance, Akitas will make their own decisions, whilst Rottweilers are more prone to look to their handler for guidance and direction, and tapping into that is where they become much easier to train. That said, the Rottweiler also does have a certain tendency for independence and therefore isn't still the easiest breed to train. As Rottweilers can display aggressive behaviour when corrected, they absolutely need an experienced handler. With proper socialisation and firm but fair guidance, Rottweilers can be trained to very high levels. In roles involving personal and home protection, they are absolutely superb. Now, even though you would think that the dignified Japanese hunting dogs are genetically predisposed to working in packs, they can behave quite aggressively towards other canines, especially members of the same sex, which perhaps is due to their past as competitors in dogfighting matches in the 16th century Japan. Akitas can also develop aggressive behaviour towards humans unless guided and socialised by that experienced canine leader that I keep talking about. Now, in the hands of a competent owner, both the Akita and the Rotti can become good family dogs who behave well around children. However, they are definitely not the best choice for families of very small children. Accidents can and do happen, and a Rottweiler or Akita attacking a child is absolute worst-case scenario. But unfortunately, as a canine behaviourist, these are things that do happen, and it is the worst thing that comes into my inbox when people need my help with these kind of tragedies. So then, I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two regal, powerful, incredible guardian breeds. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got two dedicated Akita videos coming here to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Akita Show.